What's good, South Jersey? I'm Isaiah Showell, taking a little stroll in downtown Bridgeton, and I'm a little hungry. You wanna get brunch? Ladies, do you wanna get brunch with me? Let's bring Miss Nicola Mitchell with us. Let's bring Naomi Jones with us, okay? Because they put their heads together to bring something extra special to this great city. And it's especially for you. Ladies, I hope you're ready because it's definitely what's good in South Jersey. Shout out to Miss Nicola Mitchell and Miss Naomi Jones for putting their heads together and bringing something special to the city, specifically for the ladies. Can we make way for the Girls Who Brunch Tour, coming all the way to Bridgeton to do some positive activities with the young ladies in the city, with its founder, Dr. Nicola Mitchell, overseeing the events with Bridgeton's own Miss Naomi Grace. I've been with Girls Who Brunch for six or seven years now, and I've always traveled so far, like not too far, but not in my city. And I just know that Bridgeton doesn't have it, and I really, really needed it to be here, where my people are, where my family is, where I grew up. So. Yeah, I just wanted it in Jersey and I wanted it in my city. Naomi sees the value in having support from family and friends because that same support has helped her on her journey growing up. And she hopes the young ladies participating can feel the same love and support from her and the girls that brunch family. I know that I was always looked up by my parents and my family members and my friends around me, but not everyone has that. And I feel like this exact tour, this event today, is going to help so many people grow and feel inspired and really like love who they are as themselves because they're always enough. Dr. Nicholas says that the young ladies who attended reminds her of herself. And that's why she's so passionate about this organization coming to Bridgeton to serve. I was one of these girls. I was raped multiple times before I turned 15, the first time at church when I was 14. I was a teen mother. I've had, I'm a victim of domestic violence and I hate being victim. I'm a conqueror of domestic violence and I'm here. So the reason why this organization is a part of me and dear to my heart, because number one, it's therapy for me. Every time I come in here and see these girls who are just like me, Right, it helps me feel better, number one. And number two, if they can see that this person who has all these accolades, have all these great things going for her, has went through some of the stuff they've been through and more, they can see that they can do it too and be better than me. The Girls Who Brunch Tour's mission is to cultivate, inspire, and empower at-risk girls between the ages of 9 through 17, according to Dr. Mitchell. Girls face a lot of challenges from bullying to self-esteem issues, which is why New Jersey Superior Court Judge Demetri Katad is one of the many women sent to speak life into the young ladies. Representation matters, so I'm here for that. As an adult, I have, I've been in their position. God has blessed me with life, right, that I have been able to go from a child to an adolescent into an adult and knowing that the panel that I'm sitting on is dreams worth fighting for and me being a product of the projects, being a product of public housing, public education, and public assistance, um, I just want them to be able to see an image that looks like them. Miss Jessica Ross, a physical trainer, also made time with the girls and showed them how to do a few healthy exercises. I'm really just hoping to inspire some girls to believe in themselves more, knowing that whatever they set their mind to, they can do it. After working out, the ladies built up a healthy appetite and consumed brunch that was catered by Miss Erin Moore of the Chemistry Catering. And to drink, we had Pine Q, provided by Miss Aidy Collier of Infinite Health, encouraging the ladies to eat and drink healthy things. I believe it's extremely important that the youth starts with their health because their future depends on it. Um, and realistically speaking, there's nothing wrong with juicing. Once you start juicing, you end up loving juices. It's really natural, no sugars, no preservatives, and it helps you in the long run. From healthy food and drink to healthy conversations that encourage the youth, the Girls Who Brunch Tour coming to Bridgeton wasn't anything less than successful, and we owe it all to Miss Naomi Grace wanting to give back to the city that raised her, and we all say thank you. In Bridgeton, I'm Isaiah Showell, and that's what's good in South Jersey this week.